Hey everyone, if you don't already know me, my name is Ethan and I'm a first year medical student here at UCLA. I've been making these weekly YouTube videos as a form of mentorship and self-reflection. So here is another video, a week in the life of a medical student. So I really, really hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so we just came off our break. We had a one week break after our last block. I got the chance to fly to Boston, see my friend. Then I took the bus down to New York City and like saw all sorts of family. Then took the bus to New Jersey, saw a bunch more family. So I had a really good break. Now we're back, we're back to business. This block we're learning about neurology and psychiatry. So really, really excited to get started today. It's actually a pretty easy first day. We just have a bunch of asynchronous modules that I'm gonna start working through. And then I have a coaching call uh, with one of our faculty members later so looking forward to that but it should be a good day i got my coffee so we're ready to roll Okay, it's about nine o'clock. I've been at the school since like eight this morning. So super, super long day of studying, just trying to get back to the swing of things. Also, I spent like two hours trying to locate a doctor for myself because I need to set up like a primary care appointment. So that took a while, but super tired. Gonna head back now. Okay, back on campus now. Gonna grab a coffee at the student store, do a little bit of studying, and then I have anatomy lab. I think we'll be dissecting brains today, so it should be really interesting. Okay, so just had a really, really good anatomy session. We were learning about neuroanatomy this week. I think we have four weeks of neuroanatomy. So super, super interesting stuff. We got to do some dissections, which was awesome. Just ran to the vegan food truck, got some lunch, and I'll walk back to the med school now. Okay, let's see what's for lunch today. Only $5. Oh my goodness. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, it's about 9.45, just leaving med school now. I'm gonna get on my bike and bike back to the camper van and try to get some rest. Super, super long day, but also an incredible day. It's so nice, so nice to be back on campus and get to reconnect with all my friends. I'm gonna try to get some sleep now. Okay, it's Wednesday, just made it to the med school. I'm feeling super, super sleepy today. I keep not getting like the best sleep. I keep getting probably like six and a half, seven hours when I really need, I feel like I need like seven and a half to feel well rested, but I just went and got vending machine coffee for $1. So hopefully that will revive me a little bit. So technically there's a lecture happening on cranial nerve nuclei from 8 to 9.45 right over there in the lecture hall. But I just walked in and there's like only two students there. I'm pretty sure it's on Zoom and I'm pretty, pretty sure it's gonna be recorded. I think what I'm gonna do is just get started with some other work right now and try to watch the lecture when it's posted later. I don't know like my exact reason for doing that. I kind of just think that like a two hour lecture right now is like not worth my time. I'd rather start doing some Anki cards, start doing some boot camp, which is a third party resource, start doing some U World questions. I think I'm gonna try to get started with all of that and then watch the lecture later at maybe like 1.25, 1.5 times speed, just to be a little bit more efficient with my learning. So that's the game plan, a lot of work today, but should be a really, really good day. Okay, so we have John here. We just finished our SRHE, Structural Racing and Health Equity course. We are learning about, was it gender justice today? It was. And gender affirming care. So we were working through some interesting cases. What do you think? Loved it. Always love it. Now it's time for coffee. Now it's time for coffee. <laughs> Okay, it's about nine o'clock. Just gonna 
leave the med school now. Another long, long day. group on the brainstem and the spinal cord so 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 hard <sighs> I need to do a lot more study so we got Jitesh we got the whole FOP squad what are we learning about today so today we're learning about difficult patient encounters and how we can navigate those situations. So, um, for instance, we just learned about the patient who's very talkative and a patient who was having like emotional outbursts at their position. Um, so it was really nice to see very interesting perspectives and to get everybody's opinion was also nice. Nice. Cool. We're late, so we got to run back. <laughs> yeah. <for sure. laughs> so we finished our doctor and course session today. Went really, really well. I love my group so, so much. I just ran to Trader Joe's, got some kimbap. Gonna eat that and do a little bit of studying. So just leaving the med school now, walking over to Elsie or Elise Cafe. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'm organizing this meetup, this writers meetup. I'm calling it the Westwood Writers Collective, just to kind of create a space for myself to start writing again. Walking over there now, not sure who's gonna show up. It might just be myself, but that's okay. It's the very first meeting, so I don't expect too many people to come. But heading over the there now, super excited. Also, wearing scrubs to a writer's club, I feel like is definitely a statement. Okay, we got Trevor here. This is our very first writer's meetup, and he came out, he came out, and you are an actor, improvist, is that the right yeah. word? <laughs> Originally from Arizona, but you're four days into being back in LA. Oh yeah. Uh, how did this little writer writing session go? I had a good time. Nice. Talking was fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some writing done that I'm proud of, so we're doing good. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> well, it was great to meet you. Great to meet you as well, man. It was so, so awesome to meet Trevor. Such a cool guy and he's such a trooper for coming out to the very first writers meetup, knowing that there were going to be only a couple of people in attendance. <laughs> Just him and I. Super, super cool guy. And got some good writing in. Really hope we get to do another one of those sessions soon. Get to meet other people in LA. Kind of branch outside of the circle. So, thumbs up. Now I'm just back in the med school. I have to get my bag that I left here. We just finished our CBL where we were learning about lots of different things. Meningitis! Learned a lot about meningitis. Now we're heading to Pinchy's to celebrate a long, tough week of hard work. Yes. No, sure we're like gaining on you. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's Saturday. I just drove up to Santa Barbara. It's about an hour and a half from LA. So super excited to be here. This is like one of my all time favorite places. The plan today is just to get some food, kind of do some cafe hopping, uh, do some work, but I brought the camper van and the very first thing I did was finally give it a good wash. So very happy about that.
Okay, just woke up. It's like 6 a.m. Slept overnight here in Santa Barbara. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing about living in a camper van is like you get to go to new places, or spend some time there. So I had a really, really nice time in Santa Barbara. I was planning on staying the day here, but then I just realized that my friend's birthday party tonight is actually all the way in East LA. So I kind of want to head out and drive over there towards that area now and kind of explore a new part of LA, which is called uh, Echo Park before like the traffic hits. So I could leave now and it'll be like an hour and 37 minutes. If I leave later, it could be between like two hours and 20 minutes and three hours maybe. So I think I'm just gonna head out now just to, just to be safe. Okay, I'm all the way in East LA. I just spent the day pretty much hanging around like Silver Lake area, going to coffee shops. It was super cool. And I found a thrift store. Now I'm heading to my friend's Amanda's B-Day party. Super, super excited. I know her all the way from high school and college, and now she's out here in LA with me, and she's a nurse. Super cool to have her as a friend. Just heading over, excited to meet everyone. Okay, this is Amanda, happy birthday. Hi. Amanda is 24. How does it feel? It feels great to be 24. I'm happy to celebrate with all my friends. No one's out here right now. But <laughs> all your friends. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching. If you enjoyed watching, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing and leaving a nice little comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day.